Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the channel, beautiful people. I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day. In today's video, guys, we're going to learn a little bit more about the Indonesian general election 2024. So, um, this is something that I don't know a lot about. So, we're going to educate ourselves. Um, grab some coffee, tea, water, cookie, juice, whatever you like. Grab a seat, chill, relax, and let's get started with this video. KPU. We have actually here a local university called Kuala Polytechnic University, and they're, uh, I guess, they're known as KPU here. Every five years. Every five years. Wow. Democracy with the general okay. Election. Okay. The General Election Commissioner is an independent government body that is responsible. Mm, KPU is the election council. In addition. The vote is monitored by the General Election Supervisory Agency. Interesting. It also has the authority to rule on violation of ah. election rules. Sort of like the referee. They can come and say, time out, time out, something's going on. <laughs> Understanding the system. In election, voters will elect national and local Okay, okay. Member, which means voters have a freedom to choose their representative. In nice. Branch and set some control. So this is the legislative branch. Next is choosing the Senate. This uses a non-transferable vote, which means that the elected will be decided by the most vote from the largest representing district. Huh. And then we have presidential vice presidential election that uses majority run of 50% plus one to round wow, system. Wow, 50 plus one. And the remaining local government election uses plurality. plurality. Okay. And you guys also uh, vote your senators, which I think here in Canada, is, in Canada they're actually assigned by the president or prime minister. Voting, voters will be given four or five ballots. Four or five ballot paper? What? We only have one here. For the presidential candidates and their running mates, the other one is for regional representatives. Wow. Council. One each for the national and regional lawmakers. Next. Oh my God. And the last one is for the members of. Oh my God! Five. That's so difficult. Okay, let's vote. Green, red, orange, yellow. No, gray, red, yellow, purple. And green. Oh my god, how could you keep track of that? Voters will later use a nail to poke a hole in the oh. which party That's easy. You just poke a hole. Here I can't remember, I think you use a scratch scantron, like a pen or something to mark. Then dip their finger in I haven't voted for a long time. Sure that voters cannot cast multiple mm. They use your pinky. In Afghanistan, they use a thumb. October 19. I thought it was February 14. On the 19th of October, the registration for presidential and vice presidential. Mm, that's when it opens. And. Woo! On the 25th of October, it's a deadline for all legislation for all Okay, candidates. okay. On the 28th of November, the campaign period officially begins. And it ends at 10th of February. Yeah, the campaign ends on the 10th. And then come February 14th. And so I'll be there. We're going to cover it live. From 15th of February to Let's March count. 20, the vote Will be captured wow. and recapitulated. Almost like a month, a week, like five weeks. If no presidential ticket wins over fifty percent of the popular vote, the second election will be held with the top two pairs. Oh, of for the tie, it's gonna be another election. The second round for the campaign will be started at the second of June, and it will end it at the twenty. Oh, only two June. days. And the second round for the presidential election will be held on the twenty sixth. Of Pretty complex. A lot, not just for yourself, but for the whole country. So let's exercise your right by voting. Sharon Mediana, Anita Putri, for this today. That's awesome, guys. Um, it is pretty complex, but hey, you gotta vote. So make sure you guys head out to your uh, 
polling stations before February 14, guys, vote. And um, vote for a pe person who you think is going to be um, the best for the country and inshallah is going to move Indonesia to the right path. I don't know about any of the... Um, um you know people who are running for uh the election in indonesia you guys can um you know educate me and feel free to share some videos in the comment section i'd love to learn uh, more about it uh but you know my uh, ask from you guys is if any of you are watching these videos please go and vote um and vote for the person who is going to take indonesia to the right way and are, are actually working towards uh, that so this is your uh, right and uh, if you don't vote then you know if, if something happens where let's say a party goes and they don't have uh, the best or you don't agree with their policies then you know you it's your fault as well because you didn't go and actually vote so make sure you head out you take a time you go vote uh practice your uh, democratic uh, right and select the person who's the best for indonesia thank you very much guys again for staying until the end of this video if you have any other cool videos uh about the election about indonesia please put in the comment section below and also don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel uh so you can uh, stay tuned for my vlogs from Indonesia in February. Thank you very much, guys. Take care of yourself and family. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Salam.